reserving parking spaces in advance at the airport. Fewer worries about full garages. City Hall reporter Garrett Bernsher tells us that's part of what the city hopes could come out of a possibly privatizing airport parking operations move. All right, Garrett, the city says that the packed parking garages, they've especially been a problem here. Absolutely. The city has more than 9,000 spaces it, air, it manages at the airport between its garages and surface lots. But so far this year, the city says it's had to close its garages more than 50 times temporarily because they've just been filled up. Now that so the city's looking at outside operators to propose plans to come in and optimize airport parking. One idea there is they especially want to see is a way to reserve spaces in advance, something they say is common at other airports. And the city says changing the parking rates depending on availability could help keep garages from filling up. But the director of airports says that would mean lowering rates when necessary, not raising them from their current levels, which are between eight and 27 bucks a day, depending on where you park. This specific request for proposal has nothing to do with price changes in our parking lots. Zero. Um, that, that's not something that we're considering right now. The bottom line for the city, though, is maximizing the money it brings in. They think they could bring in about 30 to 50 percent more revenue by optimizing parking operations. The cost on any contract, though, still to be determined and would depend on what an outside company suggested and how much of it the city decides it wants to go with. In the long term, the city is the airport is looking at adding additional spaces to keep up with the growth at the airport. The director of airports saying that they could start building a new garage within a year or two and that they could start adding spaces to surface lots by the end of this year. Live at City Hall, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.